The circus is in town today, Greeny. Would you like to go? Skeets asked as he read the notice which had been pushed through the door. Said the little green man, which meant, I remember looking at the pictures in your book about the circus. I'd love to go. Zoom Zoom snuggled up to Skeets to make sure he wouldn't be left out, but there was no fear of that. They could hear the music and the noise of the crowds of people as they got nearer to the huge tents which had been put up on the common. Skeets paid his money to get in, and they found there were lots of sideshows to see before the main performance began. The strong man looked very impressive, lifting his heavy weights. After the show, the little green man tidied away all the weights without any trouble, however, leaving Skeets quite uncertain whether the strong man was as strong as he pretended or the little green man was using his magic again. The Hall of Mirrors was great fun. And the little green man did look funny, and so did Skeets and Zoom Zoom when they paraded in front of the different kinds of mirror. Next was tea and buns from the snack bar. They sat in chairs watching the circus people making ready for the big show. There was the elephant trainer, who was feeding his elephant buns. The lion tamer, polishing his long boots so that he would look smart. And the clowns tumbling about, practicing their falls. While they were finishing their tea, Skeets, the little green man and Zoom Zoom, began to hear snatches of conversation from a group of people talking together on the inside of the tent they were sitting beside. A gruff voice said, I've uh, cut the bar through. It'll break as soon as he lands on it. He won't fly again. Skeets and the little green man looked at one another. Out of the tent walked a rather nasty looking man with a moustache. It sounds like a bird they're talking about. What a nasty thing to do, to cut through the bar the bird has got to land on so that it'll break. Still, that shouldn't stop the bird flying again. Skeets stood up. Come on, Greeny, it's time for the big show to begin. Skeets had to queue to get into the big top. But in no time at all, he was in his ringside seat. First came the clowns with all their fun. They tumbled and tripped all over the circus ring, getting up to all kinds of mischief. Their pranks on the big inflatable were a really big attraction. Following the clowns came the elephants, and Skeets, the little green man and Zoom Zoom, sat enraptured watching their clever tricks. The chimpanzee's tea party also was a great success, except the chimps managed to spill cold tea everywhere, and it really was a lot of fun. The high spots of the big show were the trapeze artist and the tightrope walker. The drums rolled, and the famous trapeze artist, Daring Desmond, appeared in the spotlights. It was as he made his way up the ladder that Skeet suddenly went pale and turning to the little green man said, Greeny, now I understand. When that gruff voice in the tent spoke about a bar being cut through, it was the trapeze bar he was talking about. He must have sawn through it so that it'll break when Daring Desmond grabs it in midair. What can we do? Desmond will be killed if we don't act quickly. Daring Desmond took another bow from the little platform at the top of the ladder. The little green man looked up at the trapeze bar and acted very quickly indeed. He produced his antennae, which sparked and crackled 
as he pointed them towards the sawn through trapeze bar. His magic rays mended it only seconds before daring Desmond swooped down, did a somersault mid-air and grasped it. Skeets turned at the little green man, and though everyone else in the huge tent was clapping Daring Desmond, his applause was for Greeny. Well done, Greeny, he said. You saved him. The little green man was pleased that he'd been quick enough to save Desmond, and as the show went on, he looked around for any sign of the man with the moustache who had cut the trapeze bar. Zoom Zoom decided to add his own performance at this point, he swung on an invisible trapeze, did somersaults, and his show was quite spectacular. Until he missed his trapeze altogether. When daring Desmond had left the ring, the drums rolled again, and out came the star of the show, Titus, the tightrope walker. Cried the little green man, pointing towards Titus. It's him! It's the man with the moustache! And indeed it was. As large as life, he stood taking a bow in the spotlights. He began climbing a ladder to the platform beside one end of the tightrope. Quick as a flash, the little green man ran to the ladder at the other end of the tightrope. By the time Titus had taken his bows from the platform, the little green man was on the opposite end platform with the long pole the tightrope walkers used to help them balance. He launched out on the tightrope with a determined look on his face. Watch out, Greeny, called Skeets, though no one else could see the little green man's daring tightrope walk. All Titus could see was the long pole which seemed to be walking the tightrope all by itself. And though the audience took it to be all part of the act, Titus knew it wasn't and was more and more afraid the nearer the invisible little green man came. Down below, the people were growing tired of waiting and they muttered to one another and pointed. Soon they began to boo and the frightened Titus knew he could never perform today. The ringmaster announced that Titus was feeling poorly and would not be able to walk his tightrope today. And the people booed even more. Then the ringmaster announced that daring Desmond would perform again in the place of Titus. And all the people cheered loudly. As the announcement about Desmond was made, the little green man heard Titus mutter, Well, if I didn't get him last time, He'll be finished off this time, all right. The little green man was alarmed, but his magic was not helpful if he didn't know what to save Desmond from. As Titus climbed down the ladder, the little green man went up higher to the trapeze, where he rocked to and fro as he watched Desmond start his new act. Then the extra trapeze was lowered, and daring Desmond was to perform his most exciting tricks. Desmond flipped into a somersault on his way to the extra trapeze. He reached to the trapeze bar, and then the little green man knew what Titus had done. He had put grease on the bar so that Desmond could not get a grasp. Desmond faltered and began to fall. The little green man launched himself towards Desmond, whom he gently pushed in another direction. Instead of hitting the ground, Desmond hit the clown's inflatable, where he immediately bounced from it straight up to his trapeze. It was a wonderful piece of work and the little green man, who had caught the tightrope and swung himself to safety, saw that the people who believed it was all part of a brilliant act were delighted and yelling for more. After the show, a sad and sorry Titus was led away by a policeman while Daring Desmond was made the star of the show in his place. The little green man and Zoom Zoom wanted to try out the inflatable left behind by the clowns before they left, and Skeets went back to watch. The little green man climbed on the tightrope and pretended to fall off when he was right above the inflatable. He bounced off the huge bag and zoomed up to the tightrope again, where, 
Oh, dear. Zoom Zoom put on one of his, oh, I can't take him anywhere looks, and shot off to rescue the little green man, who collapsed onto the inflatable. He sat up and turned. He said, well, really. Uh -huh.